so I'm thinking a lot about letting newness in and also slowing down. And I know that sounds like two polar opposites things, but that's what I've been experiencing lately. And I just feel really inspired by where I'm at in my life. And I thought I'd share with you guys. I think the beginning of the year was really nerve wracking because um, we had our first blended family trip ever with my boyfriend's kids and my kids. And this was a big, big moment. And there was a lot of doubt of like, am I doing the right thing? Like, is this the right thing? And I kept going back and forth, but I just realized that this is something brand new, not just for me, but also for my kids. And newness is scary. It's freaking scary, especially if you don't know what the outcome is gonna be, if you don't know what the results are gonna be, how they're gonna react, how they're gonna feel about it. But it also allowed me to think about life in general, of how trying anything new feels almost illegal in the beginning and you're just like I shouldn't do it because it just I feel wrong like I feel vile doing this because I don't know what I'm doing it's scary this experience has allowed me to realize that okay like fear is good like whenever I feel that way it's a sign for me that I'm doing the right thing I'm learning I'm growing and I'm just becoming more of who I'm supposed to be and so I think that was a really great way to start the year for me is going to Hawaii with both of the kids, both sides. It was the most amazing adventure. In person meeting, accompanying or assisting them, and airport personnel whose employment requires their presence. <laughs> oh, the sun's out. Little Coletti here. What did you find? Does it smell? No? So, the whole fam, including Chloe, my boyfriend and his kids all went on a trail, a horse ride on the beach. You have to be seven years and up in this one. She's only five, so she couldn't go with them. So of course I had to stay back with her. We've been playing nonstop at the beach, at the pool, uh, horse riding, lots of activities. The kids love their activities. And we're just kind of like exploring Hawaii, off-roading, uh, we're gonna go hiking later today. We're gonna go have some lunch by the food trucks. We're exploring. It's cool to to have older kids. Colette is still. You're not a baby, baby, right? Are you a baby? You're not a baby, but she's not a big kid yet. She's kind of like in that middle phase. So I'm just enjoying every moment, every minute, with this one, with the fam, because it just all goes by so fast. I think family is what you make of it. It's a. It's about who. You want to create these memories with and we're creating lots of fun memories together. I'm just so grateful. <laughs> Going on a hike. <laughs> this one is not enjoying this. <laughs> Drive down the neck so we don't look weird. I know I should not be drinking this right now, but I'm pretty tired and I have a long night ahead. earlier and look at you yeah. <laughs> it's honestly not that bad i thought it'd be a lot colder i mean it's cold but it's not like freezing it's fashion week but i feel like it's not really my usual fashion weeks for those of you that have been following me for years especially on youtube you know how hardcore i used to go with fashion weeks please welcome to the tan fam crystal lamb come on out crystal Pressure yeah. behind the scenes because this life looks really good, <laughs> and I, and you're not saying that it wasn't. Yeah. But it came with other things as life does. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's 
it's a glamorous life, mm. as you know, but there's things on the flip side that people don't really see. And, and that's my personal life. And I think the minute that I decided that I wanted to share that I have a platform, I have a following, yeah. I feel like I have a responsibility because I do have two girls and I'm like, I don't want to portray this yeah. perfect life. I want people to understand that, you know, it is messy it and is, it is, is beautiful so at the same time, yeah. right? And, and you're still having the fun. You're still bringing the joy of motherhood, yes. the fierceness of fashion, <laughs> but it has more texture now. Yes. Yeah, just being super selective and just focusing on like me and doing things that I want to do. And it's really nice to be in this position. I feel like I know and understand myself and my purpose here. And I don't need to overextend my stay or, or overextend doing anything that I don't really need to do. And I think that just comes with confidence as well. And so I've been actually spending the majority of my time with my family. We're in Connecticut. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna go visit. I have, a, I have a, too much winker. <laughs> mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> We're gonna go visit Penny. Penny, okay. No, let's go. go. Penny. Okay. <laughs> my sister just had a baby, guys, and I'm a new auntie. Her name is Penny. She is just so beautiful. I can't stop staring at her. She has like this light brown hair and she has her dad's eyes that are like kind of gray blue. I've just really been savoring these moments at home in Connecticut with my sister. And I'm not gonna lie, my sister has an amazing home. <laughs> like when I first went there, I was like, holy, I'm moving in, Jane. Oh my God, I have to tell you guys a story. My mom at some point was like, Jane, why did you name her Penny and not Quarter? Penny sounds so cheap. And I was like, wow. Mom, her real name is Penelope and she can't pronounce it. Her Korean accent will not allow her to pronounce it. So she was Penelope. <laughs> it was Penny's 100 day, her Peggy. That's what we call it in Korean. It's a 100 day celebration since she was born. It's a tradition in Korea because a lot of babies back in the day did not make it up to 100 days due to harsh conditions and so it's just like a big milestone in our culture and so we celebrated her Peggy and it was just like a really good time. Penny did not sleep at all. She loved all the attention. My parents legit packed a whole suitcase, airtight, all this Korean food for my sister. She lives in Connecticut, so my parents think like she does not have access to Korean food. It was so cute. My mom and dad for like a whole day was just like stocking her fridge and like in the kitchen. And I could tell Jane was just like loving it. And it actually made me a little emotional seeing Jane being a mom. Jane is my little sister and it's like a baby had a baby, which is so strange to me. Yeah. <laughs> The one thing that made me really sad this weekend was that Chloe and Colette were not there. I kept thinking, oh, how precious would this moment be for the girls to have met Penny and to celebrate her. And the girls have been wanting to meet her, but one, they had school and two, it's their time with their dad. And I guess that is one of the hard parts of being a co-parent is that you share your kid. And so there are moments that are naturally going to be missed because you know, their dad has important dates and I have important dates and we have to split them 50-50. I know soon we will be able to get all of them together and I can't wait for all the girls to grow up together. It's it's gonna it's like my childhood growing up. Like my sister and I, we grew up with our cousins. It was just the best of the best moments of our childhood. Slowing down is something that is such a luxury and I think it's a luxury that we don't get to experience until you feel so confident and so good about yourself where you feel okay to slow down. And so it's about like creating those memories in the moments with the people that mean the most to me. And God, what a gift it is to be able to take those moments to celebrate the people around you that love you so much. And so I think I'm in the season where I just want to support them and I want to be there for them and I want to love on them because sometimes you get further when you actually slow down.